Richard Simmons tomorrow morning at 9. Why won't anybody remember it's my special day? It's my birthday. You're not the only one, clown. Hi, Danny. Talk to me when you're 77. No one in the whole world remembers the day you were born. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Evie's birthday is today. And it's not even being acknowledged. We really should do more for these people. Yeah, she's so sweet. Just last month she was telling me about how her mom used to make menstrual cups out of aluminum. Some of them are rubber. And this is information you needed. Well, uh, not really. You know, speaking of cups, I needed a cup of coffee this morning. Beautiful transition. Thank you. And there were no coffee cups. They're expecting us to bring in our own? What's next, face masks? They're acting like it's 2020 all over again, and I am not going back to 2020. No one's going back to 2020. Don't ever say that year around me again. Both of you keep 2020 out your mouths. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Hashtag never again. <laughs> never. You guys, I'm really sorry. I should never have brought up that year. Now that reminds me of my childhood. The only way we could phone the neighbors was through two tin cans connected with string. It wasn't until the mid-50s when we got a landline telephone. It won't be long now until dial telephones are ready to serve you. It's what we all used to communicate on before, <laughs> before these crazy cordless doohickey phones with all their confusing applications. <laughs> Dear, we have guests coming. Hey, don't tease me. Mm, are you sure? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Come on, just a little. No! Come on, please. Grave, quit whining, you baby. Here's your stupid butter. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Country <laughs> crab. <laughs> so good, it'll make even the happiest couples quarrel. Mercy! I cussed that nurse out. Yes, I did. I cussed her right out. She know how I like my water. Room temperature, chill, just above normal. And what does she do? She brings me ice water with ice cubes. Excuse me, sales girl? How much is this shirt in a um, considerably larger size? It's expensive. How much? Very expensive. We're at this extremely fancy store called Kuth. All the mannequins, they're... Yeah, they're so fancy, they don't even have eyes. Get off the phone. Get off the phone now. I gotta go. Get off the phone. Adelaide is writing me like an overworked prostitute. <laughs> no cell phones, ladies. This boutique is called Kuth. And, and you're saying I'm being uncouth? <laughs> I see. Is there something I can help you find? Do you have a problem with us? No. No, there's, there's just so many of, uh, there's just a lot of you taking up oxygen in this. <laughs> We're looking for a blouse for a friend or a skirt. Can you not do that in this boutique? She has the sugar. Check your own blood sugar and check it often. I'm certain we have nothing in your friend's size. We didn't tell you her size. I've been in fashion a long time. <laughs> Why can't American gals be subservient? Like the Vietnamese gals we it during the war. Murphy Brown, yeah, she screwed the whole world up for us. You're all annoying the hell out of me. What about, what about this? Evie's super religious. Maybe all this glitter will remind her of the heavenly angels. Oh yeah, and every time she wears it, she could think of those angels in the sky in that dark Bethlehem night. Three hundred dollars? Forget the three hundred dollars. Don't have to cost anything. Go in the dressing room. 
and cut off the security tag. Take these needle nose pliers. I never leave home without them. I, I, I don't know. Senior citizen shoplifting? Sh should we be doing this at our age? It's a worldwide epidemic. Let's be a part of the statistics. <laughs> Why, this morning, I was listening at a clown, and he... Hey, no, you were eavesdropping. That's what they call it in English. Eavesdropping. <laughs> Dropping. <laughs> Open my gift. It's from all of us, you $2 cow. Well, I picked it up. I'm sure if it's from all of you, I love it. We all had a part in... Picking it up. Well, <laughs> a thrill of hope. The way we were rejoicing for yonder. Did you look race. at this? A new and glorious morn. expensive. Thank you all so much. Well, I think our work here is done. This is so overwhelming. What is it, dear? Do you not like it? First Timothy 2 and 9. Women adorn yourselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, <sighs> not with broided hair, pearls, or gold, or costly array. But, but it isn't gold. It is silver. Yes, but it is costly array. Just return it. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Absolutely return it to the boutique. I'll have one of the nurses take you there and you can exchange it. Boom, done. I think that would be great. I think I can find something more suitable to mm. wear. Something more pleasing to Christ. Or, in this case, Paul. Divinely inspired. But, but you don't have a receipt. And I, I, I think it was Bernice tossed it away. And, uh, uh, yeah. Take yeah. it back. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I just buy things so I can just take them back. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm living a life of Thanksgiving. If God's got time to think about her blouse... It's a dress! Then he's got time to think about those two dams that broke and killed all those people in Karachi. Oh. May I help you with something? Yes. I have this dress. It's most beautiful. Most beautiful, but it's full of costly array. I'd like to exchange it. That's where that dress is. Can you please just excuse me for a second? Guys, may maybe we should head out. She's returning the dress. Chill out, dude. Don't speak to me like that. If you were my grandson, I'd take you over my knee and I'd give your hind parts a thrashing. Both hind parts, this part and this part. Don't be fresh. Listen, Evie, there's a reason why none of the seniors wanted to come back here. I mean, I came back to get ideas for my fashion line, but I have to be honest. And it hurts me to say this. Who's the shoplifter? <laughs> Who stole the dress? Which one of you aging berries? Stole? I can vouch for these elderlies. I'm the janitor of their nursing home. <laughs> And I can tell you, I've never seen any of them steal anything. Then I'm going to have to lock you all up until one of you confess. I can't go to jail. I'm saved and sanctified. I wasn't in the room when it happened. 
out with it. Who? Well, I guess it's up to me to finger the crook. He did it. Oh. What? No. Don't finger me. I'll be the second to finger you. I saw Brett go into that changing room and shove that dress into his old man pants. Look how big they are. What? what? You weren't even here that day. And no, it was Bernice. Who is Ber <clears throat> Bernice? I don't see anyone that looks like a Bernice standing in front of me. You coming with me. Fast. On the dub. No. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Before I have to use my weapon. A steak knife? This is what they gave us for today. They defunded us. <gasps> Come on, son. You going with me. You going to jail for up to three years. What? I'll be in jail until I'm 83? No! All right to you, Brad. Prison ministry. Prison ministry. Bullmish, is it? Hello. Remember me? No, I'm sorry. Yes, you get a lot of one-legged customers in this store. I got lost in the mix. I was in here a few days ago with some of my friends. Mm -hmm. Still, nothing. I am a celebrity actor. I was the flashy neighbor on I Dream of Jeannie. All right, your point? You work on commissions, right? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, big mistake, huge. <laughs> I'm gonna go do some more shopping.